Today I'll be unboxing this Hamilton Beach toaster oven, which I got from Walmart for $19.99. It was on sale, usually I think $29.99. I had it shipped to sto the store at Walmart. So it's surprisingly small. If you look at this box here, it's almost the same size as my old, it could fit my old toaster oven. You're welcome to talk if you want. <laughs> so let me open it up. It's pretty light too. I thought it'd be bigger because on the front picture it shows the toast and also shows the, the pizza. So I thought you know, it has to be pretty big to fit the pizza. Wide. It's, it's just wide, yeah. I have an assistant today. It's my lovely niece from, what was your YouTube channel? Square Tacos. Square Tacos. So we're doing a joint venture today. Crossover, if you'll call it. <coughs> Okie dokie. Got it open. The moment of truth. The reason why I got it because it's sort of like stainless steel color. It goes with my kitchen. So it comes with these styrofoam <coughs> inserts. Pulling it out. <coughs> I've read some of the online reviews. It says it kind of undercooks food. So, one thing is the wire is kind of short. Looks like it's only three feet or something. Or maybe not even three feet. It's like, what would you say? It's like two feet long? This cable here is like maybe two feet or less. Now I don't know how you can even fit a, a pizza. Uh, what other attachments came with it? It comes with uh, comes with the grill where you put the toaster toast in there. Then it comes with the pan so you can broil stuff and instruction manual. So. You can't really fit a big pizza onto here. This is like... Wait, do they have the pizza on the box on there? Yeah, the, the pizza, but this is like an 8 inch. I have an 8 inch, this is like 6 inches or something. Like 7 inches or by 5 or something. Uh, so... Let me take off the tape. Oh man. At least it's not gonna take too much space. Let's take <coughs> on the top and bottom. So opening up, you can see it's actually the size of a regular toaster oven. Except uh, it's a little longer than a toaster oven. So you can fit supposedly four pieces of toast. This is like, kind of like, I don't know how they did that. And so, I wonder, you have two levels, you have this bottom level you can put it on, and then you can put it a little above it. Like that. That's straight at the center. I don't see any higher setting. So, and the buns here, these knobs have ten, up to like 30 minutes and up to 450 degrees. We'll see how well it works. I heard on the reviews it doesn't cook that well, so.
My assistant is getting tired now, so I'll have to bid adieu. No, I'm getting tired. <laughs> That's it. So here is a picture of them side by side. <coughs> on your right is a regular toaster oven. On your left is the Hamilton Beach toaster oven. Which looks a lot nicer. Oh, it looks a lot nicer, but I thought it'd be bigger. I should have read the, what's it called? The dimensions, so you can see. It's only slightly longer. My wife is going to be very surprised when she sees this. Okay, goodbye. Bye. <coughs> it looks like I'm going to need to do a separate video on how to use this toaster. It's pretty complicated. Or maybe... I don't know, because it has this big manual, but it's in different languages. But that's nice. We'll, we'll have to see. Because I'm not sure how to toast and how to use the oven separately, so... It's a little more complicated. Because if you look at this, there's a top one, and there's a bottom thing. The bottom one's the timer, and the top one's the temperature. And it seems like on the bottom, if you want to toast, you would just move this to whatever toast you want it to toast. It's not that easy to turn off. You just have to, well, it's easy, but you have to pull the knob down or something. Uh, but if I want to use the oven, I guess I have to first set the temperature and then I have to put the timer and you can hear the oven toaster oven it gets it's, it's kind of noisy and you say if you get, have a fire you should just unplug it but it's kind of tough because you got to go put your hand over and grab it so I don't feel like wasting electricity so I'm gonna turn this off And I guess it's on when the red light over here is on. Interesting. Very interesting. So I'm going to have to read this manual here. Figure out exactly how to use it.